So Minecraft 1.18.2 Forge just came out and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download Forge, install Forge, and then play Minecraft with Forge installed. It's all going to be covered in depth in this video. We're even going to show you how to fix some of the common issues you may have when getting Forge set up. So if you've not been able to get Forge in the past, this video is for sure going to help you get it because we're going to cover all the potential issues you have. We have a dedicated video linked in the description down below on how to fix broken Minecraft mods. So let's say you've installed Forge and then you can't get your mods to work. Well, guess what? That's what this video here is for and it's in the description. The first thing in the description down below is the breakdown.xyz slash Apex and that's our sponsor where you can go start an incredible 24 hour 7 a week DDoS protected Minecraft server. Whether you want a modded server, whether you want a mod pack server with something like RL Craft on it or any of the other 200 mod packs they support, or whether you just want to add your own mods to a Forge server, or if you want a vanilla server, or if you want a plugin server, you can do it all at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We love and trust Apex so much that so we have our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a modded server, vanilla server, plugin server, all set up very, very easily in just a few minutes. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge. The first thing you want to do is actually go to the second link in the description down below. When you go there, it's going to take you here where you just want to scroll down and click this green download Forge button. This is our text tutorial, by the way, for how to get Forge. So if you do want to go through a text-based tutorial instead of this video, that tutorial here will help you. Nevertheless, click on the green download Forge button. They'll take you to Forge's official download page where you want to make sure Minecraft 1.18.2 is selected. We can see right there it is. It is selected. You might want to select it on the left-hand side here as well if it's not selected and then once it does say 1.18.2 here come under download latest and click on installer when you do that after a few seconds it will take you off to add focus where stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever what are you doing take your hands off your mouse and keyboard right now don't click anything on this page whatsoever the only thing you want to click is the red skip button that appears after about 10 seconds in the top right that is the only thing you want to click on this page the red skip button in the top right when you do in the bottom left Forge will download. You can see Forge 1.18.2. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. I don't have to do that on Chrome, but you may have to, and that's perfectly normal. As long as it says Forge in the title, you're safe to keep it or save the file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get Forge to our desktop. It's not going to live there long, but it's much, much easier to deal with it if it's on your desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here, you will find Forge Installer. Go ahead and drag and drop this to your desktop just for ease of use. With Forge on your desktop, let's go ahead and get it installed. Now, first off, if your icons are broken, that's okay. Let's see if we can open up Forge anyway. So let's go ahead, right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now, if you don't have Java there, what do you do? Well, actually, it's the exact same thing you do to fix your icon. If it's not like this correct Java icon, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for all Minecraft Forge mods and the mod loader. Everything involving Minecraft mods requires Java 17. So that's why it's so important that you go to the description and download this if you couldn't open up Forge with Java. However, if you still have issues after downloading Java 17, that's step one. You must download Java 17 if you're having issues. Step two is running the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, right? So link them together with each other, jar files and Java. Once you finally do that, you'll be able to see that your icons are fixed and you can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system install for Forge. What you want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to set up Forge for Minecraft 1.18.2. The only reason it might not work at this point is if you have Minecraft open. If you do have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open, close out all that and then reopen up the Forge installer and then install Forge like we're doing now. Additionally, if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.2 with no mods, just the latest release 1.18.2. If you've never played that, this will not work. So you need to go play Minecraft 1.18.2 with no mods or anything like that. Come back, restart this installer just like we just did. Right click open with all that. And then click install. At that point, it will work like it has with us here. Successfully install client profile forge. Awesome. We can click OK and it closes out of that. You can now delete forge from your desktop. Doesn't need to be there anymore. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that we select our forge installation. Let's let the launcher get open. I'm getting ahead of myself. So here we are. The Minecraft launcher is now open. And if we look to the bottom left down here, Forge is already selected for me. For you, it may be automatically selected as well. If it is, it's Forge. It says 1.18.2. Under Forge, you're going to click play and click play again. However, if Forge uh, isn't selected here, right, what you want to do is go in this little arrow and then select it from this list. 
But if it's still not in this list, or if it's not 1.18.2, which can sometimes happen if you've had older versions of Forge installed. If it's like, it says 1.12 or 1.18 or 1.17 or anything like that under Forge. In that case, what do we do? Well, we want to click on installations up here at the top. And then first, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we do check, like, deselect modded, Forge disappears. So that might fix your issue. And if it does, awesome, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or you don't have that 1.18.2 under Forge, click on new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our absolutely incredible Minecraft survival and Skyblock server. It truly is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Skyblock, survival, come play on it if you want an amazing Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go and clean the version drop down box here. And then the most important part is that we select release 1.18.2 4. Right here it is for me. It's at the top. You may need to scroll down to, you for, to find yours, but mine's right up here at the top. And then we want to change the resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so we can see once we get in game. The most important part for you is making sure under version it says 1.18.2 forge now let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has that 1.18.2 forge under it hover over this click the green play button confirm you're playing modern minecraft by clicking play again and now minecraft is going to open up with forge installed it's that quick that simple and that easy to get forge set up in minecraft 1.18 now, the first time you launch up Forge, it may take a while to actually get started, and that's perfectly normal if that's the case. It might also have weird white screens, it might have weird freezes during startup. All of that is perfectly normal. Forge is a mod loader. It is modding Minecraft and changing things in Minecraft. So because of that, issues will arise. Also, Forge right now is very much so in beta. It literally came out today at the time I'm recording this video. So because of that, you are going to have some issues, right? There is going to be some problems. If Forge beta has disappeared at the top here, this isn't here anymore, then that means it's probably a lot more stable. And that means the chances of issues happening are relatively low. However, if it says Forge beta at the top, then there will be problems, there will be issues, and there will be random crashes, there will be all sorts of stuff. That's part of modern Minecraft. Just make sure that you can uninstall any mods you install if something does break, which, again, probably expected to, especially if Forge is in beta. But we do have this mods button here. This is where all of your mods can be found. But if you want to install mods, how do you exactly do that? How do you download mods safely? How do you do all that stuff? Well, luckily, there's a video on your screen right now on exactly how to download and install mods for Minecraft. It assumes you've got Forge installed already, so you're done. Forge is installed. Go ahead, click on that video on your screen. It's also in the description down below and at the eye at the top of your screen, and go through that video, and it will show you exactly how to download mods safely, and then how to install them into Forge once you've got it, which you do. My name is Nick, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.